During pregnancy, the choice of anticoagulant depends on the period of gestation. It keeps on changing depending on the period of gestation and the two anticoagulants that we know are the warfarin and the heparin, they have their own advantages and disadvantages. Now this warfarin, it is a very strong anticoagulant as we know, but it has a disadvantage that it can cross the placenta and lead to chondrodysplasia in the fetus and so this should not be given prior to organogenesis. That is in first trimester of pregnancy, we do not give warfarin and in this time heparin should be given because it cannot cross the placenta, but it is a weak anticoagulant and this is the reason that before 12 weeks of pregnancy, that is in the first trimester, we give heparin, but this heparin is a weak anticoagulant. So, during the entire period of pregnancy, we need a very good, very strong anticoagulant. So, between 12 to 36 weeks of gestation, we shift to warfarin and after 36 weeks of gestation, the patient is again shifted to heparin and this heparin, it should be stopped with the onset of labor to be restarted again 6 hours after vaginal delivery and 24 hours after a cesarean section. And from then on, it is continued till 7 days postpartum and after 7 days, the patient is again shifted back to the warfarin. 